action. Hi folks, it's John Eisen from LastChanceAutoStore.com. I'd like to share with you an update. This is the 1968 Pontiac Firebird that we've been working on. Um, in our previous video, or the last video that we shared with you, we had uh, everything braced with this Firebird at the front cowl. We had the old rusty cowl off and the old firewall off, and then we shared with you we had on the floor the new panel. So now we have the next step where we've um, we've made some patches in the top before we could put this cowl in place. So now you can see we have the top of the cowl, if we go across, you can see that it's all been set in. We've uh, replaced where it had rusted sections um, in the driver corner. And then we also uh, fixed on this other side, on the passenger side, where we had it rusted through. So we cut out the old metal, we welded new metal in, and then you can see we have um, a rust inhibitor paint that we've applied before we set the cowl on. And then we've got some screws here, so we basically dry fitted the whole cowl in place, and then we fit it from underneath, um, and then we've welded or tack welded it in place. You can see how nice these seams are. Um, everything lines up as it should, um, and you can see from this uh, passenger side, where the, uh, the piece has been welded and we've ground all those spot welds smooth. So we used the exact factory spot weld holes when we drilled them out and where we welded them back in. And then same thing on this driver side, uh, we just have some of these self tappers here that I'll move. You can see along here, the same idea. We've used the exact factory holes. We've welded it in, you can see from the back side. And then once again, this will be covered once the fenders go on, but we want to make sure that we weld in the exact same location that General Motors did from the factory because there's crash standards that we want to make sure that we meet all of the, uh, the standards that they had. And then, so now what we've done is quite a bit of work. We have the new firewall and lower section. We've cut away all the rusted, nasty stuff. And you can see here now we're really close. Uh, we're going to be setting all this up. But we have everything lined up. We've, we've ground all of the areas that are going to be welded smooth. Um, it fits exactly as it should to the floor. So now we have the new firewall, the new tunnel section, and uh, it's all dry fitted quite nicely. So it's a really nice fit. Uh, it's time consuming to get it to this stage, but now that we know we have all of the reference marks and exactly where it needs to be set in place, our next step um, will be uh, welding this firewall and floor section so we have the strength and stability. So that uh, is coming along quite nicely. So our next step, we'll weld it in place. And then we can just kind of give you an update on the subframe. Um, in one of our videos we showed where we had the, uh, the old one here removed from the car. And we're going to be transferring the, uh, the components from the old subframe to the new one. We shared with you the new subframe when it arrived. Um, so since then what we have is uh, we've sanded and prepped it and we've applied three coats of a two-part black epoxy, a very durable uh, high gloss epoxy to all the sides and we've just taken it off of the stand and set it down on these axle stands because in the next couple of days what we'll end up doing is transferring um, all of our steering and suspension components from the old chassis and putting it on the new and then hopefully if everything goes as planned once the firewall and cowl area is all welded in, then we'll be, uh, we'll be installing the new subframe and then this 68 Firebird will be nice and happy again. So just a quick update, 68 Pontiac Firebird. I thank you for watching. I'm John from LastChanceAutoRestore.com.